You did say 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. Do you know what this is about? I just said staff meeting on the memo. It's funny how he gets all over my ass if I'm a minute late, but then he makes us wait 15. You were two minutes late, Nick. Morning. And I didn't think I had to punch a clock with you. You don't, sorry. That's all right, I'll just attribute this to your drinking problem. Yeah, I don't have Nick, a... please, we're in the middle of a meeting. Sorry. Morning, everyone. So, I have finally decided who I want to be our new senior vice president of sales. He's right here in this room. It's me. What do you think? I've decided to absorb the responsibilities of the senior VP position into my own. I've realized that if you want to get something done right, you've got to do it yourself. So I'm going to be breaking through the wall of the office that would have been the senior VPs and make one huge, enormous office. However, I will only be taking 85% of the additional salary I'm entitled to, and that is self-sacrifice people. <laughs> Fucker! Meeting adjourned. Mr. Harkin, can I speak to you? Yeah, sure, what is it? You know, for months you've been hinting that I was in line for that promotion. And look how hard you've been working. What, you were just lying to me? Lying? No, Nick. Motivating. I mean, look, we're all part of the same team here. Plus, you know, I'm the one who's gonna be doing all the extra work. You know that last month you made me work so late I missed saying goodbye to my gam gam? I'm sorry, what? My grandmother, I told you that I needed to see her because she was very, very sick. You said if I left early, I'd get fired. And she died before I made it to the hospital. I'm sorry. Thank you. I had no idea that you called your grandmother <laughs> Sorry. Sorry you didn't get to say bye-bye to Cam Cam. I really, I really am.